Dear student, in the previous class we have learnt about Euclid postulate. In this class we will study about exercise 4.1. First question, which of the following statements are true and which are false? Give reason for your answers. First one, only one line can pass through a single point. First carefully read the question, only one line can pass through a single point. One day on the line and now on the quarter the point and a drama in the given statement is false because in the given any point there are infinitely many number of lines can be drawn. See the figure why the given point in the given point room there are four more lines can be drawn. Okay, take the second question. There are an infinite number of lines which passes through two distinct points. What are the question? What are the points? What are the points? What are the points? What are the Infinite number of lines in a drama. Can you guess the answer? True or false? It is also false. Because in the given any two points, only one line can be drawn through the given two points. Okay, and the quarter the kanta yao de erida point C here, P and Q are the given two point. In the given two point P and Q, one and only one line should be passed through the point P and Q. Now, taking the third statement, a terminated line can be produced indefinitely on both the sides. And then, when the terminated line anna, adra yeridu kadigu kuda yer madhodo, indefinite agi now. Produce model. It is true or false? It is true because by the past rate 2, a terminated line can be produced indefinitely both the sides. See the figure P and Q are the two ends of the given straight line. In P and Q, either sides also be produced indefinitely. Okay. Take the fourth question. If two circles are equal, then they are ready equal. Right. Here the circle equal or circle gada ready equal agitate. It is true or false? It is true. Because see the figure. There are two circles are given. In the given two circles, both are equal and congruent to each other, and the ready also equal to 4 cm. So the given statement is true. Now Taking the fifth statement, in the figure 5.9, if AB equal to PQ and PQ equal to XY, then AB equal to XY. See the figure, there are given three figures. In the first figure, AB is the straight line. Second figure, PQ is the straight line. Third figure, XY is the straight line. In the first straight line, AB equal to second straight line. PQ and the second straight line PQ equal to third straight line XY then the first straight line AB equal to third straight line XY. Is it true or false? It is also true because by the axiom 1 things which are equal to the same things are equal to one another. It is also true. Okay. Now taking the second question, give a definition for each of the following terms. Are there other terms that needs to be defined first? What are they and how you define them? First one, parallel lines. Second one, perpendicular lines. Third one, line segment. Fourth one, radius of a circle. Fourth one, square. First taking solution. Remember student, before defining the given five terms, we need to explain a point, a line, and a plane. These are called undefined terms of Euclid geometry. First one, a point. A point is that which has no part. And then, point and then aware mode both of the part and divide mode again. Sadhya. Other the second one, a line. A line is breadthless length. Because a line has one length, but there is no any breadth. Okay. Now, 
third one a plane or surface a plane or surface is only two dimensional figure so it has only length and breadth but not any volume okay now we discuss about parallel lines perpendicular lines line segment radius of a circle and square now, taking first one parallel lines let l and m are the two lines which do not have any common point then l and m are said to be parallel lines alva andre l matte m antakanta two lines anna now parallel lines anta helbekadre aa l matte m line ke yavade common point irbaru alva adanta in the given figure l is the one line m is the another line both do not have any common point that's why l and m are the parallel lines it is written as l parallel to m now taking second perpendicular line let p and q are the two lines both are said to be perpendicular line if they form a right angle andre p matte q antakanta two lines gadittu aa lines anna nam perpendicular lines anta helbekadre aa p matte q antakanta lines em madbeku right angle anna form madbeku alva here in the figure p is the one of the line q is the another line both form a right angle at the intersecting point so p and q are the perpendicular line it can be written as p perpendicular to q next one line segment we know that line segment is one of the part of a straight line a straight line which has two end point that is called a line segment in the given figure ab is the line segment a and b are the end point of the line segment okay now taking the fourth radius of a circle radius of a circle means in any circle the distance between center of the circle to any point on the circle is called radius of a circle in the given figure o is the center of a circle p is the point on a circle the distance between o p is called radius of a circle now taking fifth square a square is one of the quadrilateral in which all the four angles are right angles and all the four sides are equal so the quadrilateral which has all the four sides are equal and four angles are equal to right angles is said to be square okay in the given figure pq rs is a square because all the sides pq equal to qr equal to rs equal to ps and angle p equal to angle q equal to angle r equal to angle s equal to 90 degree so the quadrilateral pqrs is called a square utakkide alpa square andre square bondu quadrilateral agido aa quadrilateral ina naalku side kodu equal agirbeku matte prathi angle kuda enagirbeku right angles ge equal agidre aa quadrilateral na navu enu takirtive square anta karthive okay thank you students